In the previous video, we explored the fundamental aspects of the text input component in React Native. In this video, let's dive into some important props that allow you to customize the behavior and appearance of the text input component. First, we have the placeholder prop. It provides users with visual cues about the expected input. For example, we can specify placeholder is equal to email at example.com. When we take a look at the UI, you can see that before the user starts typing, the placeholder text is displayed. This guides them on what information to provide. In our case, an email. Please do remember, a placeholder is not a substitute for a label as the hint disappears once you start typing. The second prop is secure text entry. Enabling this prop masks the input characters, making them appear as asterisks or dots. This ensures that the user's input remains hidden. When dealing with sensitive information like passwords, the secure text entry prop is crucial. The third prop to be aware of is keyboard type. This prop allows you to specify the type of the keyboard that appears when the user interacts with the text input. For example, if you have created a phone number field, you can set keyboard type is equal to numeric. Returning to the UI and focusing the text input field on Android, you can see the numeric keyboard. There are a few other values you can specify, but you can see how this prop enhances the experience for a user. Let me walk you through two more props which are sometimes not favored, but are enabled by default. If I restart the app and head back to the UI, if I were to type W-A-T-R-E and press enter, you can see it auto corrects to water. Also, if I type John Doe and press enter, you can see it auto capitalizes the last name. While this is valid for some scenarios, for a username or email field that doesn't always follow perfect English, you might want to relax these enforcements. To do that, you can set autocorrect is equal to false and autocapitalize is equal to none. Other values include capitalizing every character, the first character of every word, or the first character of every sentence, which is the default. Saving the file and returning to the UI, refresh and type W-A-T-R-E and press enter, you can see we have no correction and typing John Doe and pressing enter doesn't auto capitalize. And for your information, I have typed J in uppercase. So these are some of the important props I wanted to cover in this video. In the next video, we will learn how to convert our text input into an equivalent of the HTML text area component. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.